Right, so for those wondering how FaceTime is going to work with Apple's headsets, Mark Gurman gives us new details. And so let's delve into it, guys. But first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. So there are two elements that are going to be core to the FaceTime experience with the Apple headset. That is Memojis and also SharePlay. So let's first delve into Memojis. Now let's say you're going to FaceTime many people through your headset. Well, German says the headset is going to put you in a conference room of sorts where you have multiple Memojis around you that, of course, are going to represent the people you're talking to. So this should be very similar to the intro for the WWDC 2021 event where Tim was saying hi to multiple Memojis. Yeah, that's basically what you're going to see with this headset. Now, yes, I know talking to these faces is going to be a pretty creepy experience, but Kerman says the headset will analyze a person's facial expressions in real time, and so these Memojis should be very lifelike. And yes, I'm hoping that's the case because even now with Animojis, it's not perfect and it does not capture every expression you make. And well, if Apple fails to make this realistic, this feature with the headset won't take off. However, moving to the other core component of the FaceTime experience with the Apple headset, that's going to be SharePlay. So within Reality OS, you should be able to experience music, movies, and also games with other Apple headset users. So for example, if you do watch a movie with others, you should be put in a VR cinema where the Memojis are sitting in the allocated seats and the screen is playing the movie you selected. Now the Oculus Quest has a very similar feature to this and it's pretty neat. And so yes, once again, if Apple does execute this perfectly, I do think this is going to be a pretty nice feature to have and should take the watch party experience to a new level. Now this all sounds great, but to be honest, features like this really do not justify the $2,000 price this headset could have. Because as cool as the VR experience is, very similar features are already offered by cheaper competition like the Oculus Quest. And yes, I know the graphics are going to be a lot worse with the Oculus headsets, but you've got to remember that's also a lot cheaper. It's going to be $250 compared to $2,000. And so yes, I'm very much hoping we do see a cheaper version of this headset launch very soon because till then, this is going to be a niche product. But guys, tell me your thoughts. Do you think the features I mentioned could justify the very high price tag for the Apple headset? Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the cut above on details regarding the M2 iPad Pro and on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.